So, all right, we are airborne. We are with the new uh, DJI Fly app uh, 191 that was uh, released uh, yeah, sometimes uh, over the last couple of days. We are taking that out for a test flight with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. There's a new firmware for the controller as well. And then let me just enable some video recording here so we are getting something on tape. And as you can see, the highway uh, yeah, asphalt is pretty wet. And the temperature here around here is around zero degrees uh, Celsius, which could... Oh, birdie, 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 birdie. Ooh, that was a lot of birds. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, having the temperature around um, zero degrees Celsius where everything is a little bit moist, that poses a risk, a very real risk for over icing of uh, the propellers. We have seen that in a previous video where I demonstrated the effect using uh, the Mini 2. And um, this, uh, this danger is actually pretty real. It can happen almost instant instantaneously where you are losing the capability to stay airborne simply because you have icing occurring on the front edge of the props. So uh, a lot of you have uh, below that video suggested to apply something to the props to see if you could prevent this. So I've actually done a little test here to make sure that uh, we could try out that uh, theory. And um, I've applied some VD40 to see if uh, this can prevent uh, the props from over-icing. And now you're probably saying, yeah, 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 but uh, then there's no over-icing, but how can you see that it actually helps? And I took that into account. So it's basically only the front props of the drone where I applied the VD-40. So once we land it, it is possible for us to see if over-icing has occurred on any of these conditions. I hey, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, there's an extra little bonus there. Some really, really nice conditions. Let's just fly over here again. Uh, maybe we should just back off. Back off! Oh, the other way. Back off! Right now I'm flying uh, with standard settings in normal. So you can see it is actually possible just by rehearsing or what can you say, uh, <laughs> practicing your muscle memory to fly with the standard settings. So it looks very, very beautiful. But as again, it poses a certain risk if um, we are running into problems here. But with the new, uh, yeah, with new stuff on the drone and the new app, I think we should try and see if we can do uh, something with the tracking here. So let's just put in like an active track here, maybe just do spotlight here. Yeah, we can do spotlight. That's nice. Then it should keep this pile of hay that is electrically wrapped. It should keep that in the center of the frame, regardless how I move the drone. And it seems to be doing that without any issues. So I'm so crazy with these uh, sunrises. <laughs> It's so nice. Let's move it back here. We can... Um, we have a little bit of uh, breakups here. I could see that. So, so this video will go up more or less uh, unedited. Uh, I don't think I will spend a lot of time on uh, editing it because, uh, yeah, uh, they have a very short lifespan, these type of videos. So it's better to get the information up to you fast so you can see that it's actually safe, hopefully safe. Let's make the judge of that when I'm back on the ground, that it's safe to install it. So point of interest, it's doing a nice job there. So that's also working like it's supposed to. Maybe we should squeeze in a nice photo here of the sunrise. See if we can find something that is worth. So, what's going on out there? It looks really nice. Look at this. It's 
video here and switch it into photo mode. That's just self cost because it was still in spotlight mode. So, so I have this, so I have JPEG and RAW. This could be an interesting motif here with the sun and everything goes on here. Let's see what we have here. We switch it in and take a 48, make a pixel photo like that. And if you want me to, I can put these photos up somewhere so you can download them. Just let me know in, uh, in the comments below. So, so let's do this scenery here. And we're doing A, B, so we are getting a over and under exposed images that would allow us to do something nice in post. And this was with the factor two magnification. So it seems everything is more or less working uh, like it's supposed to. At least there's no major disasters. Maybe we can just enable um, the altitude indicator here in the corner. Uh, I made a quite extensive uh, tutorial about this uh, indicator that will show you a lot of uh, the possibilities that you can use it for. I bet there's a few things uh, that you didn't know that you can gain uh, information-wise uh, from this uh, attitude indicator. So if you haven't checked out that video, I would definitely recommend it. So let's just do like a victory round here. can see it is not as foggy as I would have uh, feared but still you will be able to see the roads they are pretty wet just look at this it's all icy on the surface and then we can do an inspection of the props and see if there's a difference between the front set or the rear set But I can't remember if I already mentioned it, but the video with the attitude indicator that is available uh, through a link up here somewhere. <laughs> Super nice and convenient landing. Let's just inspect the propellers here. So the front propellers, there are absolutely no problems on the, the leading edges. No ice is present. If we look at the rear props, it is the same. So unfortunately, this is a, not a conclusive test if VD40 will help out on this problem. But we did manage to test out the new 191 as well as the new firmware for the DJI RC. And it seems that one is working as, a, it's a, as it should. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.